Welcome to the CarbonTrack ST100i installation guide. This short video will show you the steps to be followed when installing the ST100i hardware. The ST100i unit itself is a computer to which a number of peripherals will be connected during the installation process. First, let's have a look inside the ST100i installation kit and identify its components. Inside your installation kit, you may find several items. An ST100i unit, one or more NTC 10K temperature sensors, one PT1000 temperature sensor, one water leak sensor, one or more 20 amp housed relay. Install and connect only the items needed for each installation. You may require the following tools during the installation. A Phillips head screwdriver, a slotted or flat head screwdriver, drill equipment, some screws and a digital multimeter. Please ensure that the installation site is safe from possible water contamination damage and that the power is off at the distribution board and at the geyser isolator switch. Remove the two front screws of the ST100i unit with a Phillips head screwdriver, then lift the cover to unveil the connectors. Find an appropriate mounting place, preferably close to the distribution board, else close to the geyser, but not directly under the geyser. Mount the ST100i unit with the LCD screen aligned. Mark the three holes on the wall for perfect alignment. Preferably screw the unit to the wall. The unit must be installed upright. Do not install any other way. Before drilling the holes, ensure that you will not drill into any water pipes or electrical wires. All peripherals must be installed before the ST100i is connected to the distribution board. If needed, lay the unit down. First step is to connect the main geyser or the geyser being controlled to the ST100i unit. The ST100i has a 30 amp onboard relay to switch a geyser. Connect live, neutral and earth from the geyser element to port 2 as designated by the label. Next step is to install the temperature probes. Connect the NTC10K into temperature sensor 1, port number 4. Now, connect the sensor end of the NTC-10K into the geyser. If this is a pumped solar installation, connect the PT-1000 temperature sensor into temperature sensor 2, port number 5. Connect the sensor end of PT-1000 into the solar collector. If two geysers are controlled, connect an additional NTC-10K temperature sensor for the second geyser into temperature sensor 3, port number 6. Similarly, an additional external relay will be needed. Connect it to relay, port number 8. Connect the sensor end of the additional NTC-10K to the second geyser. The water leak sensor may only be configured if the secondary geyser is not configured. Connect the water leak sensor into the temperature sensor 3, port number 6. Place the sensor end of the water leak sensor in the dip tray at the drain. Now, connect an accompanying solenoid shuttle valve to relay port number 8. Next step is to route the wire between the ST100i and electrical points, primary geyser and circulation pump. An external relay will be needed for the circulation pump. Connect it to circ pump, port number 7. Also, connect the additional geyser or solenoid shuttle valve with an external relay to the relay port number 8. Verify all connections are proper and in the correct place. Carefully remove the ACE tape strip to connect the internal battery to the circuit. The last step is to connect the ST100i unit to the geyser isolator switch in the distribution board. Verify power to system. A welcome message should be displayed on the LCD screen. The red and blue LEDs will flash three times. After this, the blue LED will stay on. The LCD backlight will also power up for three to five seconds. It should then cycle through the menu structure. 
Next, configure ST100i as per the installation. The unit by default is set up as a solar thermal controller, controlling a geyser and a circulation pump. The advanced menu can be accessed via menu, options, about, then hold down up and down arrow for four to six seconds to access this menu. If you are an installer, you may reconfigure the units in the advanced menu if any one of the following is desired by switching the functionality on or off. Peak load timer, thermo siphon geyser, also known as reverse delta T functionality, secondary geyser, water leak sensor with solenoid shut off valve, and no circulation pump functionality. Set the day and time for the unit. This can be accessed from menu, options, day and time. Ensure the ST100i has been configured according to the installation hardware and desired functionality. Set the geyser at a comfortable set point temperature to ensure hot water is available. You have now installed the ST100i unit. Please provide the user with the user manual.